here I am now doing YouTube videos and doing the fitness thing. How the hell does that equate to an income? Like, how does that work out? Welcome back to another video. If you guys happen to be new to my YouTube channel, my name is Amanda and welcome here. I am a bikini competitor. I also compete in powerlifting or I'm going to this upcoming January. I am super into fitness. That's my passion. That's what a lot of this channel is about, but a lot of this channel also includes some like food stuff and lots of life advice, tips for eating and training and things like that. That's what you'll find on my channel if you guys come here. So welcome. And I have gotten a couple of requests on a previous video to do this particular video that you're seeing here. It's all about social media and how it works, how YouTubers get paid, and how social media influencers get paid, all of that in this video. I wanted to make it like super informative because a lot of you guys might be coming to my channel if you know me through Instagram, if you like know me or my story, or if you don't even know me at all and you're just watching YouTubers and you're wondering how the hell does this person sit here, make videos all day, spend hours upon hours editing and make money? Like how do you, like how does that, how does that equate to an income? How do you just do nothing else? You might not know that I used to be a nursing major. I actually have my nursing degree from college. I graduated in 2015 with my bachelor's of science of nursing and I had every intention on being a nurse, becoming a nurse. That's a very like non-risky job. It's a very financially stable job. You get all the healthcare benefits and all of that. However, here I am now doing YouTube videos and doing the fitness thing. How the hell does that equate to an income? Like, how does that work out? Uh, before I start talking about my personal story, I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a background on business and social media influencer marketing. And I am not a business major. I'm not a marketing major. I've learned all this stuff just throughout my own personal experiences, talking with other people and seeing how things work as I've gone through it. Like, I did not wake up one day and say, you know what, I'm gonna be a YouTuber. That's not, that's not really how it works. So something to, important to mention right off the bat, if you're owning a business or you're working with a business, the end goal is honestly, it's always about money. As good of a person as you are, as much as you want to help people and as much as your goal and like your driving force, like mine is, is to help people, there's always gonna be the end goal of money. And money isn't something to buy happiness, but money just means financial freedom. I don't really have to explain that. It goes without saying business, the end goal is to make some money. A car salesman is always going to want to sell a car. As much as he wants you to have the best car, the right fit for you, something that's gonna be safe and reliable, he still wants to make the commission of you purchasing a car from him. A restaurant, of course, wants to give you the best dining experience possible. They want the food to taste great, they want you to leave happy and satisfied, but at the end of the day, they still want you coming into the restaurant. Nike wants to give you the best fitting clothing, the best quality clothing in the whole world, but they still want you to buy Nike clothing. And word of mouth marketing is one of the most valuable marketing tools out there so personally if I'm gonna go to a restaurant or buy a product I will check the Amazon reviews I will read those Yelp reviews like you have no idea I will ask other people that I know and trust to recommend something to me as opposed to checking it out on a commercial or seeing it on a billboard or seeing it in a magazine all of those things are something that companies put their marketing budget towards but at the end of the day I'm gonna take the recommendation from somebody that I trust personally in order to just go buy the product or go to whatever Whatever business that I'm gonna be consuming from. As you can see with YouTube and social media growing and growing and growing, social media influencer marketing is huge. It's massive for companies to get their product out there, for people to want to buy their product, for people to trust what they're doing and trust their stuff because coming from me or coming from another YouTuber or coming from someone who has a strong influence on you and what you buy, that company is gonna be able to put their marketing budget towards that person, that influencer, what have you, in order to get their product out there. An influencer is someone who has a big influence on a large audience. So someone with a pretty big YouTube channel, someone with um, a big influence on Twitter and Snapchat, um, a big influence because they have a ton of clients with whatever that they do or they own a business or something like that. Um, companies are now realizing that this word of mouth marketing is something that they can put their marketing budget towards as opposed to hiring a model or hiring a um, even a musician or an actor hiring social media influencers is going to give them more of a return on investment it's actually like studied uh, to show that the return on investment is much higher for people who um, have a connection with their audience as opposed to someone that's kind of far removed like a, like a big-time celebrity or something so influencers are just regular people like me I'm just 
right regular person checking in over here so although my job and my intent here with this YouTube channel is always going to be and always going to come back to wanting to help people wanting to educate people wanting to motivate people wanting to inspire people wanting to empower people to find what they're passionate about um, be their best selves find that confidence within themselves follow their goals and dreams and all of that that's like my intent with this YouTube channel and so with that I always think back to that whenever I'm like considering a brand deal or working with a company that may have approached me for something and this relationship like between me and you guys it's not just like a take 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 like I want to give back as much as possible I try to do giveaways I try to give you guys information YouTube is free content and with that I'm spending um, hours filming and editing so you can imagine that with the hours that I'm filming and editing videos. So filming a video could take like all day or whatever, depending on the video. Um, and editing could take anywhere from like one to 10 to 15 hours. At a certain point, um, when you're like a full-time YouTuber or full-time social media influencer, it is your job, that's what your hours go towards, and building your business is building your brand is like something that's 100% what is going to be bringing you your income. Because YouTube doesn't charge the viewers to watch anything, there has to be some sort of way that a YouTuber or a social media influencer or whatever um, can create an income. And for me personally, I, I appreciate and I really value your guys' trust. I won't ever tell you like, you can take this product and then you'll get a butt like mine. So anything that you'll see on here, I 100% believe in. And if you ever see a social media influencer, especially a girl, not selling skinny tea, I will tell you that she ain't no sellout. Those companies pay thousands upon thousands of dollars to people to post about a skinny tea that's not gonna make you skinny. It's just a tea. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into a couple of different ways that YouTubers um, make an income. So number one is gonna be Google AdSense revenue. So you're essentially connecting your YouTube channel to a form of payment that goes based off of the ads that get put onto the YouTube videos. And depending on your subscriber count, the number of people that watch your videos, so the views count, how long people watch the videos, and like the likes and dislikes. I'm not totally sure about the ratio. Um, Shameless Maya did a really good video about this. I'm gonna insert her clip here because she explained it in a better way that I, I don't really like know. I haven't looked into it. Um, you take your total earnings, divide it by the total views, and multiply that by a thousand, and that gives you your effective CPM rate for the month. See, that way I don't mess it up. Google AdSense is one way, but like the revenue that comes onto a YouTube video is typically not the only way that YouTubers make money. It's not like for me personally at this point in time, it's enough to live on. Like it's probably like one or two thousand dollars a month with my size YouTube channel at this point, um, depending on the video, like how many videos I put out. Again, this is all depending on the watch time, the likes, dislikes, the engagement, the comments, all of that. So the number two way that YouTubers and influencers make money are sponsors. So whether that be a company or a product that will pay the person a monthly, like a job, like a monthly salary, that will come into play. So I personally get paid a monthly salary right now from PE Science and I also make commission from PE Science. So that is one of my sponsors, like all the discount codes that has to do with me making an income. I'm not like, pushing you guys to buy PE Science products ever or any product that I uh, promote. Um, I'm not trying to like shove it down your throats and making you guys buy it. I definitely find that to be a very substantial form of income for me at this particular moment. And every single company is different. Not every single company is going to offer a sponsorship or a commission. Um, some companies might just be offering like a paid video or a paid post on Instagram or Snapchat or Twitter. Um, a couple different companies I've worked with have done that as well. So that can be anywhere from like a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars. Again, it depends on your audience, your engagement, and like viewers and all of all of that stuff comes into play. Like a company will look at different influencers and see like, number one, is this person right for my product? Does this uh, product make sense with this person? And how much of an engagement does this person have? So for example, if you see a girl <laughs> or a guy with millions of Instagram followers, or like, let's say a million, and they have like, a few thousand likes on their pictures and like not a lot of comments and like all they post is pictures of their butt probably not going to be the best person to uh sell a product <laughs> thinking about that like the person's engagement makes a huge difference and in terms of like switching sponsorships some people uh give you a contract where you're not allowed to just switch <laughs> um and switching sponsorships is essentially like people talked about in that um bite meals versus icon meals video again it's just a meal prep service but at the end of the day um if you get a better offer 
from a regular job that you might be like, oh wow, this is a better offer. I really enjoy the people that are within this company that I'm already working with and I really like the people and I really like the brand and I really connect with them. I've been with them for X amount of time, but this other job is just a better offer. Are you going to take it? Depending, yeah. If, I mean, like, at the end of the day, it's your livelihood. It's how you're going to be saving money for retirement. It's how you're going to be saving money to buy a home. It's how you're going to be saving money to support a family in the future. For my kids in the future, I don't have kids now, but in the future, I would love to have a family. I would love for all my kids to go get an education. I would love to be able to provide for a family. And at the end of the day, making an income is definitely important. That's kind of like a good example to show you guys about sponsorships and about YouTubers, but the only difference here is that y'all get to comment on it and put your opinions out there. When you're posting your life on the internet, that's something that you kind of have to accept. People are gonna have opinions and if you have good intentions that at the end of the day um, and you're putting out content that you enjoy, then at the end of the day, you shouldn't worry about other people's opinions, but it is something that is out there because people are able to comment in the comment section. So yeah, aside from Google AdSense, brand deals and sponsorships, um, per personal merchandise is another way that YouTubers make money. So that's why you'll see a bunch of YouTubers or influencers creating their own own products or creating their own brands or creating something that their name is on that they can sell as opposed to promoting uh, another clothing company or another whatever the heck. Um, people will make their own things just because it makes sense to uh, create your own brand and create something that you can have longevity with as opposed to relying on another company. So that's why you see a lot of YouTubers doing that, like making t-shirts or making a clothing brand or making something that like you can purchase that supports them. Um, of course, again, at the end of the day, it's nothing that you have to buy, but it's just it just makes sense for someone to create their own personal thing as opposed to always relying on another company to bring them income. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that cleared up a lot of your questions. Leave some comments down below if I missed anything. I don't think I did, but if I missed anything, you guys can go ahead and comment down below. Let me know if you found this video interesting or helpful by giving it a thumbs up and a comment down below. Yes, I'm saying like the video because it helps the AdSense revenue. <laughs> um, anyways, I just, anyways, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you uh, leaving suggestions for videos that you guys want to see for me. If you have any more suggestions on sit down talks like this, please let me know. I'm happy to do them. I'm happy to help out. I'm happy to give some information and I will catch you guys in the next one. Thank you.